from the fourth bridge, an engineering marvel of the Victorian age, to a modern one just alongside it and almost finished. From the flight deck of the much less advanced HMS Prince of Wales, HMS Queen Elizabeth is very much still under construction, but these are the finishing touches. On her deck, a special coating's being applied that's scorch-resistant to jet engines. Elsewhere, like here in the flight control tower, the instruments are in place, ready to go. Gradually, compartments and decks are being handed over to the Royal Navy. But how ready is the senior service to crew this vessel, bearing in mind recent problems with manpower? Everyone understands the challenges we have uh, across the country for engineers particularly. But uh, right now I've got 650 sailors uh, on board the ship, all beavering away alongside the aircraft carrier lance to bring these ships to fruition. So the answer to the question is, yes we have, they're all very excited. We just want to get the ship out to sea actually. When she does set to sea, her complement will be significantly lower than you might expect. Albeit bigger, the US Ford-class carrier has nearly 2,500 personnel. Just the 650 here. How is that possible? Smart thinking and design is the answer. Like here. What we have is what we've called the highly mechanised weapons handling system. Uh, down on eight and nine decks of the ship, uh, we have two deep magazines. Uh, where we can store munitions for the Royal Navy. They get transported up to the hangar deck, or where we are now, the weapons preparation area, uh, on these uh, NATO pallets, uh, which are good for transporting a load of five tons. Uh, when they come off the lift, the, the bogey uh, just there will go in, essentially, pick the pallet up, bring the pallet in and deposit it just here. Uh, we have a longitudinal mole then which will come down, uh, pick the pallet up and it will take it into our prep base. This is a huge game changer. Previous carriers we had much, much larger crew than what we have on, on the Queen Elizabeth carriers, but we can get away with having fewer people here looking after all the system and we deliver a much higher output than, than we ever did before. We were told to think of this ship as a sea base, think RAF Marham, but at sea. And the decks below the flight deck all help facilitate smooth flying operations. The attention to detail on the Queen Elizabeth class carriers is outstanding. The way people work, how they need to achieve their job, it's all been studied in detail to make it as efficient as possible. Take this corridor system. You may have been on something like HMS Bulwark in the past and you've seen the quick route for Marines to get down nice and wide. Well on this ship now they've got one for air crew as well so they could be asleep, they could get up, get dressed, get briefed and get out onto the flight deck really really quickly following a sensible route. It's all about getting the planes in the air as quickly as possible. Next summer, the ship will sail into her new home, Portsmouth Harbour. But before that, in just a few weeks' time, her engines will fire up for the first time for testing. Another step along the journey to the Royal Navy, having a carrier capability once again. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Rosyth.